Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mits and Riches Garage YouTube channel. Today is a special occasion. We're working on a real truck this time. This truck is equipped with the Lord's motor in it. I know everybody says it's a 454, but it's not. All right, so this truck right here is a pulling machine. This truck right here will make your second gen Cummins look like a Ford Pinto. This truck is equipped with the buzzing half dozen 306 cylinder. All right, so this truck is a 82 F-150. It was rebuilt by my papa in 96. Uh, like I said, it's got the 300 in it. It's a four speed Bulldog, nine inch rear end. Uh, head shaved 20 thousandths, board 40 over. Four wheel drive. It's got a gear drive in it. I think it's even got a small cam. It's the middle one. It sounds like it. It's probably just all the raw natural power that it came with it. This truck's been parked up. Last time I remember was uh, 2015-ish, somewhere in there sat for about 10 years in the garage this truck's probably got about less than 30,000 miles on it i know you won't believe me by looking at it but hey, it, it's been a rough 30,000 okay it's mainly been used as pretty much the family workhorse and uh i'm tired of seeing it sit here so let's see if we can get it running and moving under its own power again. okay so this is a uh, when he bought it and when he finished it, picture. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull number one spark plug out, see how it was running. Last I remember, it ran pretty good. But uh, it's got a, limpy, a wimpy little one barrel on it. And the reason it was parked is because every time we go to drive it, it'd start having a uh, fuel starvation issue. So, we're just gonna get it running and moving right now. And the next time you see it, we'll probably be doing a two barrel swap. So, all right, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so it's been it's been running halfway decent. It's a little bit lean. Like I said, it's got that wimpy little one barrel on it, but we'll take care of that. We'll put a two barrel on it.
So, while this is underway, I was checking my YouTube algorithms app. Lost a couple subscribers. I'm not mad about it. I ain't mad. I'm just gonna say this to make, you know, like a clear point. I really just want to apologize to those people if I made them mad. Um, so, guys, I, I still have them full-time job. I mean, I work for the government. I don't want to disclose the name of the company. I work for the government. And we make some pretty cool stuff for the military. So, when they say I have to be there, you know, I have to be there. I'm not, I'm not sleeper dude. I'm not Last script garage. I'm not Putin. I'm not Mortsky. I can't, you know, come outside at 7 o'clock every morning and go straight to the garage and start putting out YouTube videos. I wish I could, but I can't. And also, I'm sure some of y'all noticed that six month old baby I've got. <laughs> When I get off of work, guys, I, I have to come home and I have to help take care of her. This is the only time on the weekends, really, when I have to do this stuff. When my wife doesn't really have anything else planned. You see, also, going along with taking care of that six month old baby I also have a wife that I have you know to talk to I have to pay attention to it's part of being a husband or a father on top of that I also have to be a provider for those two so my job has to come first and I I really just want to apologize to those people if I made them mad for not putting anything out. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I'd love, you know, like I said, to be able to come up to the garage 7 o'clock in the morning every day and start doing this. But I just can't. If y'all just hold on a minute and give me some time, I will get to putting some videos out. It takes time. It takes money, and I, I don't make a dime off of YouTube stuff. You have to be monetized and all that stuff. I'm not. This is just, you know, something I'm just wanting to do in my spare time. Car parts cost money. Fuel costs money. If I'm not at work making money, then I can't be buying the stuff to do this. All right, but anyways, let's get back to doing this. I'm, like I said, I'm not mad and I'm not ranting or nothing. I was just trying to get that, you know, put out there. It's just, I'm trying the best I can with this. All right. It appears we need a battery on this. My papa done check the oil. It's good. Let's put the battery on there and throw some gas in it and see what happens. I want y'all to look at this real quick. You know how everybody else puts two hot posts on the battery? My papa's put two negatives. Luckily, with this being a Ford, and if you've got any common sense about Ford, you know, hot one goes on the solenoid. But all right, let's get this battery in.
got the key out here? No, I don't think. Should be. Hit it and see what it'll do. Ain't doing nothing. going to go in under and tap the starter. These terminals look pretty clean, but looks can be deceiving. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a quick cleaning while he's doing that. Okay. Uh, bye, bye, baby. Don't forget to those backers. Start on back, brand new. Looking like your brush has seen better days there. Probably all it ain't as yeah, I don't know. thick as it used to be. There's no spread wall right on it. County finest. Mm. Needs him a ticket. You want to know why that starter's not working right? Because I actually tightened the battery cables down so I just set them on there. <laughs> Probably. You're clean and I'll go give it started another couple times. Oh, Red, Hey, Mortsky, what do you think about that? <laughs> uh, so what my papa's doing down here is uh, <coughs> cleaning the contacts at the starter. They ain't been off here in like 30 years, so rather let him do it. If it breaks, it's on him. This is his truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if cleaning the contacts down here don't work what we're thinking is 
the starter solenoid up there might have finally give out. But uh, thankfully, we have a parts truck up there on the hill. What's it not have it? Well, right now walking down here to get some jumper cables. Probably should have led with that first, but you know, pull a battery off of something you expect it to be up. This is this big old Mack truck start up. Friggin' fan clutch for weeks. How many forts does it take to start one? Not doing nothing. Doing nothing. Wanna try changing solenoids? I'm awake now. <laughs> Said I'm awake now. Let me try to lean this over a little bit. All right, so the solenoid ended up being bad. We pulled one off of uh, another truck we had around here. We got it turning over. So we're gonna see if she'll start now. I hear you it. Come on, old girl. No. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. What is that? Probably does falling out of it. Oh, no, damn. Hold on, man. I'm feeling this. Filling the bowl up. Hold on. Try it now, puppy. Come on now. Where's that, where's that uh, bottle at? Squirter bottle you have. Oh, it's in the back of the truck. Hold on a minute. All right, now we can get somewhere. Juice, yeah. Puddings get her done, not even one. <laughs> That's just good enough, 87.
I had to butcher that part up. My uncle said a few cussies. I wouldn't doubt it. I bought it in advance. Right now. And for those that don't know, that's how you clear a carburetor out. <laughs> oh God, well that's not a good sign. Great. Watch this old girl torque, son. You honestly can't beat a 300 in my opinion. Guys, there she is back running again. They don't die, they just get better. All right, guys, there you go. We got old red going again. Uh, next video, we need to uh, get a another solenoid for it so we can put that other trucks back on it. We gotta get the brakes working again. And we got a two barrel swapper. Right now we're just getting her going again. But this old truck, it's, it's never wanted to die and it's never not started. That's the only time in my 24, 25 years of being alive that I've ever seen it have one single issue of not wanting to start. The only time ever. 
we got some pretty good stuff coming up. Uh, we're going to finish Old Red, of course. I got to do an update on that 7300 F100 up there. And my Mustang, I'm working on a video for it right now. My wife's uncle died last week is why I didn't get to put a video out. So I was doing funeral stuff last week. So, but it's going to cut it on this one. This has been Missing Rich's Garage. Thank you all for watching. God bless each and every one of you.